The shooting death of Pikeville Police Officer Scotty Hamilton prompted a massive manhunt in and around the city Wednesday morning and throughout the day Wednesday. Heavily armed police officers and a helicopter combed portions of the city in search of the shooting suspect, whose identity had not yet been officially released as of this report. Just be aware that obviously this situation has occurred and a perpetrator or suspect has not been detained, so there is someone out there who has committed this crime. So uh, that person should be considered armed and dangerous. Wednesday afternoon, the helicopter taking part in the search focused on an area near the Pikeville Coal Run city limits. Later, the search moved to another area. At a press conference Wednesday afternoon, Kentucky State Police Master Trooper Jody Sims said several people were arrested following the incident that led to Hamilton's death. Those individuals, he said, had no part in the officer's death. There were some individuals uh, that, that were located that uh, had some pending uh, arrest warrants on them and, and they were taken into custody, but it, it was nothing uh, uh, that they were charged with that, that had to do with uh, the shooting. Anyone with information on Hamilton's death or the suspected shooter's whereabouts is asked to contact Kentucky State Police immediately. Good evening. It's with a heavy heart the city of Pikeville has announced that uh, Officer Scotty Hamilton was shot and killed tonight in the line of duty. This is an ongoing murder investigation being conducted by the Kentucky State Police. Scotty has been a member, an officer, a proud officer of this police department since 2006. Please keep his family in your prayers. As was said earlier, this is an ongoing investigation. If you have any information regarding this, Please contact the Kentucky State Police at 437-5111. I'm sorry, that's the Pikeville Police Department. The Kentucky State Police at 433-7711. Again, thank you and God bless. About 36 hours after Pikeville Police Officer Scotty Hamilton was gunned down in the line of duty, the man believed to have been the one that pulled the trigger was taken into police custody. Any comment? Any comment? Go to hell. That's a gun, man. 55-year-old John Russell Hall was arrested at approximately 11 a.m. Thursday in Pike Floyd Hollow at Betsy Lane. Kentucky State Police Post 9 Captain Donnie Shearer said Hall was taken into custody without incident. Kentucky State Police, uh, following some information they received, were able to locate John R. Hall at a residence off the, of uh, Stony Brook in the Betsy Lane area of uh, Pike County. It was uh, it was actually just inside Pike County where it happened. At uh, he was taken, Mr. Hall was taken into in custody without incident, and charged him at that time with possession of a handgun by a convicted felon. Hall was transported to the Pikeville Police Post. Uh, during that time, additional investigative leads were followed up on which led to Mr. Hall being charged with one count of murder involving a police officer. Hall had been on the run since Hamilton, a 12-year veteran of the Pikeville Police Department, was shot and killed at Hurricane Creek in Pike County.
a massive manhunt ensued and culminated in Hall's capture, which was caught on video by a Pike Floyd Hollow resident Thursday morning. Rest in peace, Scotty. They got him. We have the best cops ever. And now for the police officers who have been looking for Hall. Relief. Well, it's definitely a relief for, uh, for all of us, and I'm sure definitely with the Pikeville Police Department as well as everybody in the community. Um, you know, we wish this, this had never happened, but uh, it's definitely a feeling of relief for all of us. Several people were arrested with Hall, but none of those arrests were in relation to Officer Hamilton's death. There were other people arrested at the scene on unrelated charges that were not, not related to the death of Officer Hamilton. Captain Shearer said numerous agencies took part in the search for Hall and the investigation following Hamilton's death. Officer Scotty Hamilton leaves behind a wife and a nine-month-old baby girl. He was 35 years old.